What's up? You're probably watching this because you want to set up your secure boot and TPM 2.0 stuff so you can play the Black Ops, like Black Ops 7, the beta, or maybe some other game like Battlefield 6 that will require this stuff, or the many other games that in the future likely will. So it can seem a little bit intimidating, but I want to go through what it looks like when I'm setting up on my machine and what you can do to make sure you do it for your machine. I've seen, you know, some reports of folks, you know, not being able to boot up or having some of the major issue. Um, we're going to go through the steps to make sure you have all the requirements set up so you don't run into that, hopefully. Last thing you want to do is have a machine you can't turn back on. Obviously, this only applies if you're playing on PC, so uh, you also need like a, an updated version of Windows 10 or ideally Windows 11. All right, folks, before we begin, one quick legal disclaimer. I'm going to do my best to show you what it, I do to enable out my stuff and how to be safe about it, but unfortunately, I can't be held responsible if something breaks. Hopefully, it doesn't. Just do the steps, follow the guides, especially if your motherboard is, is different, and it probably is. Follow the exact steps it shows you in the guides I point to, and you should be a okay. Okay, with that said, let's begin. Uh, let's get started. Also, I'm wearing these, I can show you guys what it looks like when I'm rebooting my computer. We'll get to that later. So, step one. Here's my Windows 11 PC. You might be Windows 10. So, the first thing you want to do is have ready uh, the Activision uh, support guide for turning all this stuff on. It's really actually well done. It goes over what you need, the requirements. It'll be my guide. I'm going through. They also have a fun little three-minute video, but we're going to be a little bit more comprehensive. So that's why this video is much longer. So first things first, we're going to check to see if you have TPM 2.0 enabled on your computer. You might not. Probably don't if you're watching this, but let's make sure. So it says over here to uh, type tpm.msc in the run dialog. So I'll do this as if I was on Windows 10. So you're going to type run. Here's a little run prompt here. I'm going to pull this sucker up. I'm going to type tpm.msc press ok and here we go and the screen will tell you if you have TPM on, tpm on and what version it is so under status mine says the tpm is ready for use if yours is not don't worry we'll fix that and over here in the bottom right it'll show that i'm using i'm an amd machine yours might say intel and my version is 2.0 so if it says tpm is ready for use and 2.0 you're good to go if you're not there yet we're going to fix that that's step one Step two, let's check to see if you got Secure Boot ready to go. So over here, same Activision you know, support page. How do you check if Secure Boot is enabled on your PC? Click on that one. So again, we're going to go over here, Step Run. Open up this prompt, and we're going to type in MS Info 32. And this pulls up all basically all your uh, the details on your machine. We're only looking for a few things here. So I want you to make a note of all this stuff. Your BIOS mode should say UEFI. If it says legacy or something else, don't worry about it. We're going to fix that. You need UEFI to do the secure boot stuff. Next, actually write this down or make a note, write it on your hand, whatever. Your manufacturer. These are the folks who made your motherboard. Every motherboard kind of has their settings in different places or whatever. So it'll be good so you can kind of refer to you know, the help page if you need it. Uh, so mine is AS Rock. Yours might be ASUS or might be some other brand. Um, so make a note of that. Also, just in case. Make a note of your model. It's right under it. Mine is the X70, X870E Tai Chi, whatever. Make a note of both the manufacturer and the model. And then you go a couple more down. Secure boot state needs to be on. If yours says on, you're good to go for this portion of it. But um, if it does not say on, um, we're going to fix that. We'll go over it. So, so far, we've checked the TPM state. We've checked the secure boot state. Now, before we reboot the computer and start doing all that fun stuff, I want to check one more thing. So. Uh, you need to make sure the next step after that is confirming that disk partition style is set to GPT. So on your hard drive, on your PC that has Windows, your operating system, it has to be uh, partitioned as something called a GPT, GPT partition. We need to make sure that's the case. If it's not, stuff might not work after you reboot. This is the thing I really want to avoid. So let's get that going. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go search for disk management. So back to over here the search bar for windows i'm going to type in disk management and for me in windows 11 shows up as create and format hard disk partitions this works just click on that and you get a screen that looks like this uh, this shows me my hard drive is my externals blah blah this is my stream uh, this is my gaming pc there's not too many um and for most people windows will be located on the one that has a c drive you see disk zero over here and it has the the c symbol over here this is probably where windows is so you can double check by opening, you should double check. Go to your Windows, you know, check over here to 
C drive and see if there's a Windows directory and it'll look something like this. My other drives don't have that. Windows apps doesn't count. You want strictly Windows. So if that's C drive, and it usually will be for most of you guys, go back over here, see where it says disk, disk zero. Right click on this, choose properties. It'll pop up another window. Go to the volumes tab and look down to where it says partition style. It just say GPT over here. UEID partition table. All right, whatever. That, I don't know. What, I have no idea what the hell that means, but it needs to be that for the secure boot stuff to work. So if yours says GPT, we're good to continue to the next step. Skip to the next chapter because you don't need to convert anything. But if yours says MBR, we're going to go over what you need to do, the steps you need to follow to convert your drive to GPT. It's not bad. All right. So step one, get rid of that prompt. We're going to go back to the Activision guide, support guide. And under here, under secure boot guidance, where it says confirm the disk partition. Click on that. We just did all this stuff for the checking. We're going to scroll down. Let's see here. Right here it says if MBR is listed under partition styles of GPT, you need to convert your disk. We're going to follow these steps. We'll give you your requirements. Uh, don't worry about the BIOS stuff. We're going to change it after we make this change. So, open command prompt as administrator. Go back to the search bar, type CMD. Going to go here where it says command prompt, right click. Choose administrator, press yes, and you got the prompt up. And then I'm going to start copying and pasting some stuff here. So first one wants you to validate your disk. Mine is going to fail because I am already set up. So press that, press enter. Mine says disk layout validation failed for disk zero. Yours should say success if yours is set up as MBR. All right. Then if it says success, take this. Copy it, paste there, press enter, and it'll convert your disk to GPT. Then when you reboot, we got, you know, it's time to move on to these steps. All right, let's do a full recap before we reboot into the BIOS. Step one, we've checked to see if our TPM is ready. If it's not, we're going to fix that. TPM version 2.0. My manufacturer version says 6.32. Don't know if that matters, but I made a note of it. Next. We made sure that we checked our system information over here. We made note of our manufacturer. Mine is ASRock, my motherboard model, uh, my BIOS mode, which is UEFI. If yours says legacy, we'll fix that. And the security state, which is on, which again, if yours is not off, we will fix that. And finally, maybe the most important thing um, to make sure we don't break anything is we made sure that your volume is GPT. And if it wasn't GPT and you made sure you did that conversion, that last chapter over there, we should be good to go. All right, so this next step, I'm going to go ahead and turn on these expensive glasses to kind of see me do the whole reboot process from my perspective. Let's go. Here we are. Here's my, my messy desk and that Windows thing. So we checked the things. We're going to reboot. So we got to go into uh, the BIOS, and um, there, there's probably like a simpler way of doing it. I'm going to show you the old school, annoying finger cramp way. Sorry, folks. Or you've decided to watch this video, now you will pay the price. So we're going to go ahead and choose restart and restart. Now I'm going to spam the delete key on my keyboard. Just spam it nonstop. So basically the way you get to the BIOS is you press like delete or F2 when you see your manufacturer thing on the screen. You get to spam delete. Spam delete nonstop. I'm not going to get distracted by anything. I'm just going to press delete nonstop. In a moment you're going to see like the manufacturer or whatever the BIOS screen kind of pop up for a second and then it'll pop us right into the BIOS and we're gonna get to work. All right, so the plan will be to do the secure boot stuff first and then the TPM stuff. This is to make sure that you're in, a, you're in the right you know, BIOS for doing, trust me on this one. So there we go, ASRock, it'll say, you know, press delete or whatever, or F2, and we're in. This is how my BIOS looks. Yours may look different, may look very different. That's why it's gonna be important to kind of follow the guides I'm gonna point you to from the Activision article. So here we go. So we have here, and over here I've got a floaty browser window, which I can check. So we're going to scroll down to the secure boot guidance area right there. I'm going to choose how to enable secure boot. I'm going to open there. I'm going to make sure our, you know, our BIOS mode is set to UFI and not legacy. And uh, it's pointing us some guides. So we're going to minus AS rock. So I'm going to look at that, open it up. And here's my guide. 
Okay, now I've got my guide for the AS Rock motherboard I have. Yours will be a different guide based on what manufacturers use. Your manufacturer's guide for the motherboard brand you've got, because it's all going to be different. So let's go step by step. Step one, press F2 into post during post and go to BIOS setup or in BIOS. Go to boot, then CSM, and set CSM to disable. This is important. This is how you make sure that you're in UEFI. Mine says UEFI on the top left. Yours may not see that, but let's just do what it says. So we're going to go to boot and go to CSM. So boot, CSM, and make sure it's disabled. This is really critical, especially if you just converted your drive. Otherwise, you may not get back in. Oh, well, you can always go back here and change it, I guess. But yeah, make sure CSM is disabled. Done. And then we're going to save that. All right, so it doesn't say to boot, reboot again, but I think it's smarter to do it. So if you had to change that setting, if it was not already disabled, save changes, exit, and restart again. Just do it. Let's be safe. Why be? Why be? Why take risks? All right. It doesn't say to reboot it, but I like rebooting it. If you want to take a risk? That's on. That's on you. I'm gonna go back into BIOS. I saved it. I changed it. I want to make sure the UFI stuff is on and ready to go. I don't want to take any chances. All right. Rebooting. Rebooting. There we are. We're gonna go back in. We're back in. Great. So just gonna double check. Boot. CSM disabled. Boot. CSM disabled. Follow your guide. Great. Now, we're going to move to step two. Go to security. Security. Go to secure boot. Secure boot. And set secure boot mode to custom. There's secure, boot, secure boot mode. Mine is already set to custom. This is my guide. Then, step three. Press install default secure boot keys and select yes. Yes, sir. You install the keys. I already done mine. I'm not gonna do that again because in case it breaks something. And that's done. Then I'm gonna go back up. S set secure boot to enabled. That's the next step. Secure boot enabled. Mine is already enabled. And then it, now it says to restart your thing. So go to exit, save changes and exit. Press yes. And I'm back to spam that delete key. We're doing it. We're doing it. Well, while we're restarting, I'm spamming delete. I'll show you my. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Anyway, still spamming delete. Still spamming delete. Going back in. Going back in. Any moment now. Any moment now. There we go. I've missed the BIOS way too many times for me to risk it. There we go. We're back in. Cool. And we're now. It says to go. After system restarts, go to security. Security, secure boot, secure boot, and make sure that secure boot is showing active, active. Your guy might be a little bit different. I'm correct, curious if it is. All right, great. So let's see here. Some warning over there. If a prompt is guard change, please select no and continue to step four. Okay, cool. So if it says, if yours does that, then do what it says. Okay, always follow the guide. I'm good. All right, great. Next. Um, now that's done, we're going to do the TPM stuff. So we're going to go back to the Activision guide. Oh, here we go. How to enable TPM 2.0 on my PC. All right. So again, I'm going to choose my manufacturer, AS Rock. Uh, mine, unfortunately, for AS Rock, points me to three articles instead of one. I'm going to check the first one. Open that up. And over here, it shows you how to enable it. All right. So this shows Intel. I'm an AMD computer to follow whatever makes sense for you. And what it says is uh, you need to disable CSM, which we already did. And then we need to turn on the AMD CPU FTM. So here we go. Step one, go to advanced. Step two, go to CPU configuration. CPU configuration. Find AMD FTPM switch right there. And switch and set the option to AMD CPU FTPM. It's already done. And for this, for this motherboard, that's actually all you need to do. Me turning it on did the trick for me. And that's it. Now it's time to go back into Windows and check to see that the settings all took. So you're going to go to exit, save changes and exit, press yes. We're going to wait for the reboot. Not going to spam delete this time. 
Let's see, I'm not going to go over BIOS updates in this video. If you need to update the BIOS, I would refer to that manufacturer site. All right, let me log in and not show you my super secret secure password. Okay, we're back in. I'm going to double check the stuff. So, let's go to, uh, let's see, first things first, tpm.msc. And once again, mine, 2.0, the versions or whatever. TPM is right for use. We're good on the TPM front. We checked this earlier, but this is what you're going to do to make sure you're good. Next, go to MS Info 32. Back on this screen. So, as mode as UFI. More importantly, your secure boot state is on. You should be good to go. Um, and yeah. Uh, that should be it. The fact that you're back in Windows means you did your GPT conversion, you know, properly, and you should be able to load in. So, with that said, okay, so, after that horrendously long video, hopefully now you're back in Windows, your secure boot is on, your TPM 2.0 is enabled, and you're able to jump into the Black Ops 7 beta, full game, Battlefield, whatever you're playing that's required, you know, that requires this stuff, and then you're good to go. So, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you, you can try asking in, in the comments. But uh, honestly, your best bet, if you're still stuck after following these steps and following the Activision um, guide, your best bet, go to Reddit for your manufacturer. So if your manufacturer is, is ASRock like mine, go to the ASRock Reddit. You will very likely see other threads by people asking the same questions you do about you're not able to you know, enable Secure Boot, you're not able to enable TPM 2.0, or just ask a new question there. Get the help you need there because all these motherboards are so different. So I'd say if you're still stuck, go to Reddit. Because there are folks asking this conversation going on. Um, but yeah, hopefully it was smooth for you. And hope you're jumping into the game and having a good time. Uh, if you want to join my games, as always, you can hop into my Discord. Discord.gg forward slash Swiftor. But otherwise, if you see me online, see Swiftor in your lobbies, then maybe be a little nice to me. Maybe let me kill you. Get that headshot, man. I appreciate that. You know I need it. But anyway, seriously, have a great time. Thanks for watching. And hope you have smooth sailing going forward. Peace out.